Hi, today we'll learn something about integrate vector control. Now, there are many methods of mosquito control. Experts now recommend an integrated approach that is an approach which avoids excessive use of any one method but tries to combine one or more methods with a view to obtain maximum results. Now, what this will do is it will reduce the input and also it will prevent environmental pollution which was happening due because of because of uh, toxic chemicals and insecticides and the development of insecticide resistance will, will also reduce the various methods of mosquito control methods are classified as below anti larval measures anti adult measures and protection against mosquito bites now coming to the anti larval measure now it consists of environmental control, chemical control and biological control. Coming to the environmental control. The most important step in reducing the numbers of mosquitoes is to eliminate their breeding places. So if the breeding places are not there, then the problem of mosquitoes will be over. And this method is known as source reduction technique. Now this source reduction technique comprises of minor engineering methods such as filling, leveling, and the drainage of breeding places also some water management techniques have been utilized such as intermittent irrigation so that the water doesn't stay uh, in the fields for a longer duration of time if this intermittent irrigation technique is used so if culex mosquitoes are a problem then there should be abolition of domestic and peri-domestic sources of breeding such as cesspools and ditches If Aedes mosquitoes are a problem, then the environment must be cleaned and water holding con containers such as tins, empty pots, broken bottles must be discarded and it must be got rid of. The Anopheles mosquitoes are a problem, then their breeding places must be looked for and abolished. If Mansonia mosquitoes are a problem, the aquatic plant to which they attach themselves should be removed. Now the source reduction methods generally produce results that are, that, that are permanent and it is quite an effective method initially coming to this chemical met control method the commonly used larvicides are mineral oils paris green and synthetic insecticides number one is my mineral oils the application of oil to water is one of the oldest known mosquito control measure and the oils most commonly used are diesel oil, fuel oil, kerosene, various for fractions of crude oils and nowadays even special oils are available such as mosquito larvicidal oil. When oil is applied on water, it spreads and forms a thin film which cuts off the air supply to mosquito and lar mosquito larva and pupae. Now the application rate for oils is 40 to 90 liters per hectare. Now coming to Paris Green. Now Paris Green or is also known as copper aceto arsenite, which is an emerald green powder which which is practically insoluble in water. The mechanism of action of Paris Green is it is it, it is an stomach it is a stomach poison. It mainly kills Anopheles larvae because they are surface feeder. So when this larva this so when this Anopheles larva comes over the surface of water, they will get in contact with the Paris Green powder and this perigerin powder will enter their stomach and it will cause it will kill them now this perigerin is applied as 2% dust which is prepared by mixing 2 kg of perigerin and 98 kg of a diluent in a rotary mixture now this, now various diluents can be used such as slaked lime or soapstone powder and this dusting is accomplished by hand blowers or rotary blowers. Synthetic, now coming to synthetic insecticides. Now synthet synthetic insecticides consist of phen phenthion, chlorpyrifos and abate. These are the most effective larvicides. But these are not recommended for larviciding operations because of the long residual effect and water contamination and there is an increased risk of developing resistance in the vector mosquitoes so mostly the synthetic insecticides are not used widely coming to the biological control 
wide range of small fishes feed readily on the mosquito larvae. Now the best known are Gambusia affinis and Labister reticulatus, also known as Barbados millions. Now this fish can be used in burrow pits or sewage oxidation ponds, ornamental ponds, farm ponds, etc. In in recent years, there has been a revival of interest in the biological control of mosquitoes uh, through the use of fish. Now, it is however recognized that biological control can be effective only when used in conjunction with other methods. So, when this method is used alone, it is not effective. It has to be used along with other methods. Now, coming to anti-adult measures, the first one is residual sprays. Now, adult mosquitoes are most commonly controlled by spraying houses with residual insecticides. DDT is the most common uh, residual spray which is used and it is an insecticide of choice. Now the resistance to insecticides has become common among mosquitoes especially after several years, years of exposure to uh, this DDT. But so because of that uh, essential Periodic tests must be carried out to determine the susceptibility of different species of mosquitoes to the various insecticides so that only potent insecticides can be applied. Now coming to the space sprays. Now insecticidal formulation is sprayed into the atmosphere in the form of mist or fog to kill insects. The most common one used is pyrethrum extract. Now it is an extract of pyrethrum flowers and it is an excellent space spray. The me mechanism of action of pyrethrum is it, it is it is acting as a now poison. The active principle pyrethrin is a now poison and kills insect insects instantly on just on mere contact. The doors and windows are kept closed for half an hour after spraying of pyrethrum extract. Now this pyrethrum ex sprays do not have any residual effect. So they are just temporary. And the other space sprays used are residual insecticides and such as phenytrothion for ULV fogging. Now coming to this genetic control method technique. Now methods such as sterile male technique, cytoplasmic incompatibility, chromosomal translocation, sex dis dis distortion and gene replacement have been explored. Now their use is still in the research phase but these techniques have great potential in mosquito control because they have certain advantages over chemical methods like being cheaper and potentially more efficient and above all not subject to vector resistance. So this is an important uh, control method which is in the research phase right now. Coming to the last section which is protection against mosquito bites. First one is mosquito net. It offers protection against mosquito bites during sleep. The materials of the net should be white so to allow easy detection of mosquitoes. The number of holes in one square is usually 150. Coming to screening. A screening of buildings with copper or bronze gauze is recommended. The screening of buildings is costly but it gives excellent results. Coming to the last one is which is repellents. Now diethyl toluamide is very effective repellent. It has been found to remain active against Skrillex fatigans for 18 to 20 hours. And repellents are mainly used for application on skin and their chief advantage is the short duration of protection. So this ends today's lecture. Hope this video is beneficial to you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe and click on the bell icon to turn on the post notification. And if you have any quest for video then comment down below. See you guys next time.